Earlier this year, the world lost an icon. Carrie Vincent was a mentor to me and a friend, and she helped me make my career what it is today. She always pushed me to be a better artist, and I'm forever grateful for that. So today, I wanna to make a cake to celebrate her life and legacy. I made a birthday cake for Carrie Vincent many years ago and it had toffee in it because she loves toffee. So we're gonna make it. It only has three ingredients. Uh, it takes a little time, but I mean, three ingredients, it's so simple. And my pan here is like super hot, I think. Yes. ASMR, are you ready? Am I ready? Oh. That is so satisfying to see two giant chunks of butter just like meet their demise. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit. No. I'm gonna turn this up high because we gotta boil this until it browns. Okay, now we're gonna add our sugar and our water. Give that a stir. I could just eat it like that, like a bowl of cereal. We used to have that as a kid, called it a sugar butter soup. Grody. Oh, you know what my aunt used to do is like give us rice with butter and sugar as like a dessert because we were so rich. That's like horchata. <laughs> you know, we didn't even bother to make it into horchata. We just like ate the rice and shut up. Is this cake? Yep, that's cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get it all mixed together. I'll give it a stir every once in a while, but pretty much you just gotta let the sugar brown. That's what we gotta do, that's it. How easy was that? Pretty easy. I just gotta wait. I'm gonna go. Do something. See well, you see you later. <laughs> I'll just be here watching butter <laughs> boil. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn to do that kind of work. I'm out. That is nice. You can go as dark as you like. This feels about good to me. Nice golden caramelly color. Just gonna give it a whisk to get it, all the ingredients together. And then we're gonna pour it out. Ready? Yes. Beautiful. Let's break down an eight inch vanilla cake. These actually, turned, these are pretty flat. <laughs> So Joshua, how did you know Carrie? How did you meet her? Good question, iPad James. So, I mean, Carrie is like a legend in the cake world, uh, but I first discovered her uh, on a show called Food Network Challenge, and she also had the Oklahoma Sugar Art Show that happened every year in the fall. And I wanted to enter one year. I was, I'd never done anything on TV. I was scared to death, and usually Food Network would film it. So I made this giant cake and drove it all the way from Atlanta to Tulsa, Oklahoma and entered this thing. Did not win. Uh, but anyways, after the show, she came up to me and she was like, uh, just told me she thought I had a talent and kind of wanted to take me under her wing. And then about two months later, I started doing a show called Food Network Challenge and she was the judge on there. And we just sort of like, I don't know, hit it off. And she was like my sh sugar mom. <laughs> Did you try some of this, Brandon? Yeah, I shouldn't eat anymore. I can, it's so good. It's like Tommy Boy, I can actually hear me getting fatter. <laughs> All right, so here's our toffee. <laughs> All right, I gotta bust some of this up so we can put it in between the cake tears. <laughs> Almost choked on my toffee. All right, I got my toffee. We're gonna bust it up so we can sprinkle it in between the layers. Not so aggressively. I don't want it to be powder, but I do want it to be like little bite-sized pieces. Whoa. She's rocking herself off the turntable. Okay, that feels about good. Now I'm gonna fill the cake with vanilla buttercream and then I'm gonna put my uh, crushed up toffee in between the layers. First trip to the cooler, get it completely cold, and I'm gonna trim the sides, crumb coat, and then final coat, get her ready for fondant. 
though, I'm actually going to carve this cake just a bit. So a lot of Carrie's cakes were very like, um, very soft over the edges. So I'm just gonna take the rough edge off of this. What were some of Carrie's signature styles? She did a lot of um, like watercolor sort of effects on her flowers and textures and stuff. And then she would do like this flamenco skirt kind of thing. It's so rad on like the outside of a, um, of a cake. But uh, the woman won like tons of awards. And then she sort of retired from that competing and she started her own show in Oklahoma. And it was the show, like people would fly from all over the world. The first time I did the show, I met a man from Madagascar. He traveled from Madagascar to Oklahoma to compete. The guy that came from Madagascar, Yeah. was he like, we like to move it, move it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that reference. <laughs> uh, uh, it's from the movie. <laughs> oh, Madagascar, the, oh. Brandon. All right, that's pretty good for a crumb coat. I'm gonna get it in the cooler to firm up and we'll do a final coat. Let's go, buddy. I have a ring mold that I covered with parchment paper. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of shortening to this. This is what we're gonna form the crown over and then when it dries, the shortening will help us uh, pull it away. Also will help right now for it to stick onto here and not slide around. <laughs> Where did my shortening go? That was terrible. Let's try that again. All right, so the two pieces are gonna cross here. Where they cross. I did not put enough shortening. Hold on. Don't fall. Hey! Oh, hey, stop fair. it! Everything's fine. You wanna fall on me? I'll show you. Well, I already made one of these because magic of television and it went great. Look, fight all you want. I will win. Okay, now. We are going to peel these down a little bit. <laughs> but I get to choose, James. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work to get them to not uh, curl down, only to curl them down right after you finish. I want them to curl down, but not so aggressively. Okay. We're going to leave that to dry. I already made one, and it's way better. You should and yeet that one into the corner and go <laughs> get your good one. <laughs> Be like, you get the idea. Hold on, I'm going to show you how good one. Hold on. <laughs> Look at the one I actually made before. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So then we just put these down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna allow that to dry and then that'll be our cake topper. Awesome. Magic. <laughs> Joshua, I was just checking out Carrie and her husband's uh, charity that they have here, Angel Flight. This, this thing sounds amazing. Yeah! So Carrie's husband, Doug, he's a retired pilot. And so they have this charity where if there is a child that needs a certain surgery and they can't get to a certain doctor, the doctors also uh, perform the surgeries for free. They either will fly the child to the doctor or the doctor to the child for free. Actually, if people want to donate, can we put the link in the description box, James? Absolutely, I'll, I'll do Let's that do right it. now. Go donate, it's an amazing charity. Yeah, this sounds really cool. These stories are, yeah. Are you as reading the stories on the website? Yeah, yeah. as a new father, it, uh, it's really hitting yeah, heartstrings. Yeah, it hits home for you for sure. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get some texture in this. So we're gonna take our texture mat. Paint it! <laughs> texture it! Texture it! Once we put it over the cake, we're gonna lose some of the texture, but that's okay. We'll go back over it. I just wanna get some in there right now. Yeah.
All right, we're gonna trim this up. Cool. It. All right. Now we're gonna do some royal icing stained glass work on one of the tiers. Uh, this is gonna be like a stained glass look, but there's no real design to it. I just kind of want to create little cavities that kind of look like rocks, and then we're going to paint watercolor in between them and then paint this stuff on the outside gold. It's gonna look really, really cool, but at first it's gonna kind of look weird. Hey, Joshua. Yo. Wanna do some viewer comments while you're working? Yes, iPad James. Viewer comment. Right. So first comment is from Misty Collins. Hi, Misty. Misty says, so excited to find out you're back on YT. I missed your show. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. She can come to dinner. She's invited. You're invited. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this show. A lot of old uh, uh, Man About Cake fans are still finding this show. That's cool. Where are you guys at? Come on now. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. M Match or M Mock Hi, says, man. who else vibes with Brandon every time he sings a weird song? If you don't, you're lying. Ha <laughs> ha, love ya. Yeah, I love, love the songs. They're... But James sings the songs. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone pointed that out. I guess that's why I picked that one. <laughs> yeah, it's, if it's a song, it's usually James. A lot of people can't tell us apart. All right, next one. Shadow Queen Sky. Hi, Queen. Says, can you make a lasagna cake? Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a restaurant that I enjoy called Schmall of Schmarden uh, that serves Italian food that has a, has a chocolate lasagna cake. It's pretty good. I bet you you could do better. I think, I think that's probably going off the cake taco thing that we made where it doesn't actually look like a lasagna, it's just like cake made into a lasagna. Oh yeah, that's what I was picturing. Oh, cool, yeah, I done, on the list. Okay, put it on the list. I wanna go to Schmalev Schmarten. Well, yeah, where's Schmalev Schmarten? I'm starving. Schmalev Schmarten. Oh, sorry, have, I said it they wrong. They have all you can eat Schmed sticks. I was gonna ask about the Schmed sticks. Yeah, Schmoop Schmallet and Schmed sticks. Yep. I don't, wanna get, I don't wanna get in trouble with any, I don't know how the lawsuits work, so. Uh, I think small is pretty good. They're good. <laughs> T comma sugar comma salt hey, says. Hey you. Says Kitchen Aid should make a mixer silencer like for a gun. That's so good. Yes. Pew pew pew. We need one of those. Pew, 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 pew. All right. And last, Heather Hogan. Hi Heather. Says, one way to remember that dessert has two S's is to think that when you eat dessert, you always want two helpings. I'm almost 50 years old and pass that on whenever I can. My third grade teacher taught it to me back in the day. I always got that word right after that one, LOL. You guys are great, thank you. P.S. Here's a hammer for you, JJR, because you nailed that taco. Uh, quarantine safe smiley face. Stay safe and much love to you all. Hand clap, hand clap, hand clap, fist pound, peace sign, winky face. How many characters do you get on YouTube? <laughs> So I've got purple, orange, yellow, blue, green, and pink. And we're just gonna sort of mix the color up and make it all, make it look all pastel-y, like rainbow-y. Crown is dry, flowers are dry, cake is stacked, and she looks so, so cool. So we're gonna put the crown on top with some royal icing. We're gonna dust our flowers with a little bit of shimmer to give them a little sparkle. See?
Carrie Vincent was my mentor and friend. She always pushed me to be the best cake artist that I can be. And I hope you guys have someone like that in your life. Hey, everything about Angel Flight is down below. Check out the charity. Guys, I'm Josh John Russell. You've been deserted.